MacWarrior Online's free Mac for the month of May is going to be the Gargoyle Delta. Of course, there's going to be another event that goes a full 30 days as of making this video. And you have just got to play the game and earn some match score and eventually you will get your mech. Let's talk real quick about what you have to go through and what you get for each particular little point in this journey. For one victory, you will get seven days premium time, which is really nice. Well, so that allows you to get more C bills into your account. For 1000 match score, you will get a 25 GSP redeem bundle. Same thing goes for 2000 match score. These are additive. So at 1000, you get 25 GSP. At 2000, you get another 25 GSP. And so on for the other prizes. 3000 match score will yield you 1 million C bills. 4000 match score in total, another 1 million C bills. 5000 match score, yet another 1 million C bills. 6000 match score will yield you 100 MC and the cockpit hanging item Clan Wolf DNA. For 7,000 match score, you will get another 100 MC and the Clan Wolf Hollow Globe cockpit standing item. And then finally 8,000 match score, another 100 MC, so 300 in total so far, plus a Clan Wolf Hex Warhorn if you don't have access to Warhorns yet, so make sure to grab that. Then here we go, finally 9,000 match score in total over the course of 30 days will yield you a free mech bay and your free Gargoyle Clan Assault mech. And then for 10,000 match score, you will get the Clan Wolf pattern for your Gargoyle, which looks gorgeous, by the way, if you combine this just with all black. It has such a nice uh, black, dark, golden shimmer. Now, we've talked about how to get this mech. Let's talk about a couple of potential builds and what you can do on this mech and what Gargoyles in general can run. So here we have our Gargoyle Delta. As you can see, it is a humanoid mech. It has uh, some torso mounts. You can have side torso mounts as well. And it has uh, arm mounts. And of course, these mounts vary in between those mechs. It's a Clan Omni mech. Let's go ahead and go into the mech lab and see what this thing ships with. As a standard loadout, you get uh, two ER larges, you get two medium pulses, three medium pulses actually, and an ER small laser, which is a fairly low loadout, I would say for a mech in the 80 ton department. So what could you do? Well, there's a couple of things you can do. Uh, if you want to go with the set of eight right here and the set of eight bonus for this particular mech is going to be 5% less energy heat, 5% less duration and a little bit of an XP bonus on top, then I recommend maybe look at uh, this build right here. This is heavy large lasers combined with ER medium lasers that allows you to basically sync up your optimal range very well. The heavy largest optimal range is 480, the ER medium optimal range is 400. So they're fairly close together in optimal range. We've got a couple of uh, double heat sinks and a clan target computer Mark One in here as well to further extend that beam range, armor up front as always. And that should give you a solid six to alpha strike at an 81 KPH of speed. So this is like a um, clan assault at 80 tons that is closer to the heavy tier of mechs than it is to the assault tier of mechs. Now another build you could do with this particular mech uh, if you wanted to go large laser sniping. So here if you wanted just to go for ER large laser sniping you could run something akin to this where you just run four ER large lasers, uh, two in the CT, two in the right arm, just leave the left arm unused and use it as a long range sniping tool. This runs extremely cool and uh, will allow you to dish out a lot of damage over, what is that optimal range? Uh, about 810 meters so with um, quirks and skill tree, uh, around 900 meters or so of range, optimal hit distance. So that's kind of nice as well. Now, I already mentioned that the Gargoyle has, of course, different Omnipods since it's a Clan Omnimac, and there are different variations of what you can build with this thing. Um, for example, if you own the Kinwolf, which is the hero mech, you will act get access to three in total with the right torso and the left torso. Uh, missile hardpoints, so that is nice to keep in mind. The Gavar Prime left torso gives you access to an AMS if you want it. Uh, prime right arm also gets uh, you access to, for example, Daka and the missile hardpoint. Kinwolf right arm gets you access to a Daka hardpoint, a ballistics that is. Um, so you always have to make sure that you check out these uh, Omni, um, Omni mech parts and pick out whatever fits your builds the best. For example, one very effective build that I've seen a lot in this game is this kind of gargoyle, where you run around with two ear large lasers in your CT. This is your long range weapon. And then as you get closer, you start chiming in with the heavy medium lasers at an optimal range of about 330 with a skill tree. So add that in. And as you get even closer, the ER micros come to play at an optimal range later on of about 180 meters with skill tree. And all in all, this thing, can do 
an 86 damage alpha strike in point at a range of about 180 meters so this is really nice if you are able to get in behind enemy targets and just take off a side torso like that but of course this requires advanced heat management and juggling of three different weapons with different burn times and the different heat development of course so be very careful if you want to build like that today's jump engineering episode is going to feature a set of eight build it is going to be the heavy large laser and a medium laser build i found this to be fairly solid as a starting build once you get this mech you can just slap that on there and get going so hope you guys found this video helpful if it was let me know and hey enjoy your day